Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring bosses in New Game Plus as the Green Reaper, a very special build based on building up Frostbite to completely melt the HP bar of almost every single enemy of the game. Initially, I craft a quality build which I used until the second half of the game, where I realized that the Frostbite proc was coming too late. The reason why I didn't want to use the Cold Affinity in first place was mainly for the significant scaling and base damage reduction obtained as a result of using this affinity. I thought that I could get enough Frostbite build up by using Frozen Armament, or by applying freezing grease. Both sources add the same frostbite build of value to the weapon, however it wasn't even close to be effective. A early game is more than decent, but as you progress through the bosses you will notice that your frostbite procs are each time less frequent, so I decided to try the cold affinity, despite of that meaning that my damage will be split on physical and magic damage. Surprisingly it was way more effective, in fights like Malenia I was able to apply the effect multiple times and control the combat as I wish. Also playing this way is a lot less complicated as it's easier to prepare for battle and you don't have to worry about using spells or extra items to get the frostbite build up. I have to tell you guys, with this setup you will be able to destroy the game as one of the coolest characters to ever exist. First of all, I'm going to show you the build and then we will beat every major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We are going to use the grave side on plus 25 with the spinning weapon Ash of War on the Cold Affinity. This skill has a very short range but is really fun to play and it builds up any status effect insanely fast. It is important to mention that the grave side has a passive bleed build up, which will be quite useful against the toughest bosses of the game. And this is completely optional but to gain control over the fights in some scenarios I like to cancel the frostbite debuff to apply it once more. There is no logical reason to do this but to interrupt certain attacks of a boss like Malenia's waterfall dance. For this specific purpose I will use the short spear on plus 25 with the giant's hunt ash of war on the flame art affinity. This weapon doesn't combine too much with the build but it's just an optional useful tool and we need any skill we have available to cast our main buffs. You can choose any armor set you want but in order to keep the green reaper look of the build I will use the fia set. You have to admit that it looks fire. The most powerful talismans for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Shard of Alexander, the Millicent's Prosthesis and the Rodin Windsor Insignia. If you are missing one of these talismans, the Magic Scorpion Charm is a very good option as well. In our Flask of Wondrous Physics, we are going to use the Thorny Crack Tear and the Stone Barb Crack Tear or the Green Spill Crystal Tear or any other you find useful. The important one is the Thorny Crack Tear, which will increase your damage with continuous attacks stacking incredibly good with the Valkyrie's Talismans. The Graveside devours stamina, so feel free to craft some pickle turtlenecks to boost your stamina regeneration speed. The best stats to maximize the performance of this build are Forion Vigor, 37 on Endurance, we need to level up Strength to 66, Intelligence to 56 and Fate to 33. Golden Bow and Hall of Shabriri will be our main buffs. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. This is very good. Oh, this is... <laughs> 14k damage, baby. <laughs> Come on. Oh, poor guy. Oh, poor guy. You're not going anywhere. Oh! He got shredded, bro. <laughs> Let's go. No. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Come on, guys. This thing is crazy. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice, bro. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Very good. Let's go, guys. Come on, buddy. Let's make this happen. I'm ready, bro. Bro, that was a bad idea. Oh, nice, it works. <laughs> it was such a bad, a bad idea, but it worked somehow. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Let's go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, bro. That's a nice kill, guys. <laughs> Let's go, we did it guys. Oh finally bro. Oh bro. Oh bro. Oh bro. Nice. 20k damage. Let's go. Come on. what I'm talking about, baby. Ooh, almost. No way, boss. Nice. Ooh, at the same time. That's cool. First of all, guys, golden bow. Then your pickle top and leg. Optional. Then your physic. Then Hall of Shabridi or Blood Boy Aromatic. In this case, Hall of Shabridi is good because we are dealing magic damage as well. So, we refill our FP and we are ready to go. And let's go with the skinny one. Is destroying. Oh, more damage, more damage, more damage. That's amazing. That's a lot of more damage. And we quickly go with this one to keep the buff, bro. To keep the buff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we finished with them. Did we? Oh, did, oh we did it, bro. Nice. Yeah, she's coming. <laughs> it was close, bro. Come on. What do we got now? Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's make it epic, bro. One. Two. Never mind. Only two. Let's oh, we needed a little bit of more hits and that was... Let's see what we can do.
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What you gonna do? Oh, let's go! Oh, crazy! First try, bro! <laughs> Take that one, Goku. There we go, baby. Oh. Come on, come on. The moment of truth. He's fighting, he's fighting, he's great. He's the bomb. He's the bomb, I'm telling you guys. Boom. Boom, baby. <laughs> Let's go! We did it, guys! <laughs> Amazing, bro.